Yo, what is going on everyone? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the HD750, which is a Ford F750 newer gen inspired truck. It does have some of the stock stuff from the original uh, F750 and SnowRunner, the vanilla one, but it has an absolute crazy amount of customization. And this is really, in my mind, one of the most ultimate uh, off-road, heavy duty, uh, utility vehicles, scouts, um, and it can haul. It has a lot of hauling options, different suspension options, also everything you would kind of want out of this truck you're going to get so you know what to do before you jump into it do me a huge favor drop a like on the video and a sub on the channel guys we're going to jump into it all right time to customize up the hd 750 this comes from redline creations um it is new on mod io there's a good chance it's going to end up on console i believe this is a ford f750 inspired truck uh, more recent gen, as you can tell by the angled headlights. So we're going to customize it up and see what it can do. So we have five engine options. The Redline HD triple turbo spec with 1,400 pound foot torque. This triple turbo tune is for the spirited driver. Stockish HD tr triple turbo spec. This 900 pound foot 6.7 liter diesel engine has plenty of power. Pair it with the stockish six speed or heavy tow and haul. Four speed if you prefer a lower top speed. Tow and haul 1,600 pound foot torque, triple turbo speed, um, has loads of torque for heavy hauling. Use this, use the heavy tow and haul four speed or stock at six speed for a lower top speed. Use the trail rig six speed. If you love speed, then we have the trail rig HD triple turbo spec with 1200 pound foot torque. This turbo tune is ready for just about anything you throw at it. And the vanilla spec diesel based on the snow runner F750 tune. Um, so we got some really interesting engine options here. I kind of like the tow and haul one because this isn't really going to be your off-road scout. That's how I don't. I mean, you could use it as an off-road scout 100%, but I do think this is going to be a lot more versatile um, of a truck than just being used as a scout. So what we're actually going to do is go ahead and we're going to use the tow and haul 16 pound. Um, so we got heavy tow and haul four speed, stock is six speed, tow and haul 10 speed, which I think would be kind of, you know, uh, better for a little bit more highway driving. Um, and that's where the additional six gears come from. We got the trailer at six speed. The Swiss Army knife of transmission seems to do everything well and has less gear hunting due to only being six speeds. And we have the vanilla six speed based off the F750 tune. I love that they added in the F750 tunes here, but we're going to go with the heavy tow and haul four speed. Suspension, we have King of the Semis Active, King of the Semis Max Active, Trail HD Active, Trail HD Max Active, Trail Rig Active, and Trail Rig Max Active. We're going to go with the max active here for the king of the semis. Um, seems to be the biggest lift and it is active, which is nice. So you have the option to keep it kind of somewhat stock while you want to tow. So we have a lot of tire options for off road. We got 58 to 62 and maybe higher. We got the stockish military runner MVT, stockish X runner, Baja runner pro XS, super single military, uh, super single X runner and the super single baja runner we got that same variant available in 62 um and then you have red line which is a little bit more op obviously now i don't think i want to use and we have cheater so this must be extremely op obviously um i want to go into mud tiner so you got the rut runner super single rut runner rut runner which is a dually super single and it's just rut runners they have the cheater versions and then obviously you got some chained winter tire options as well um, but for mud tires, I want to go with the 62 stockish. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go with the red line. 62 red line rut runner. Uh, we do have the dually option, which is nice. We have the trail runner spec 12 volt winch, 40 foot trail runner winch, which is awesome. To fuck on frame mod ons. So this is where this truck becomes extremely versatile. And it's really cool to see more mod developers provide this kind of customization. So we actually have the log carrier front, the crane. Another crane with more power, log loader crane, um, log loader crane with more power. We got the uh, traditional loading crane, and we got saddle high and saddle low, or you just keep the truck bed on. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I wish there was like a fifth wheel hitch or something on those lines, but still, you could probably haul a decent trailer with the uh, other ones. So bumpers, we got the 12 gauge HD bumper. The Black Ops HD bumper and the Landmine HD bumper. The Black Ops one is pretty cool. It has some lights in it, so that's what we're going to roll with. Now, suspension, we have uh, damage control. 
Um, so it's basically a no damage setup. We got two versions of it. And we got the standard suspension. Um, it reduces the collision damage taken to the suspension wheel. It's not compatible with some of the redundant damage control add-ons. So I don't know um, if you want to go heavy duty, but let's let's go with it. The reason why I'm thinking about it is sometimes you do. Okay, so we got modern LED lights, stock headlights. Um, chat. Okay, this is cool. So we're gonna take. We got the modern lights, or you could go stock. I like the modern, and you can see the angle to look. So this is a newer gen, maybe even latest gen. Um, open close hood, uh, license plate chassis frame mount, mud flaps rear. But does it get rid of the box? Uh, that's what I'm kind of. Yeah, it gets rid of the box if we add that. So let's remove that. Let's go back down to frame add-ons. We don't have an add-on. So how do we get the truck box back? It's kind of my only question. Okay, we'll keep it like this. We got the earth radar, mud flaps, the license plate on the chassis, tow and haul. So we can add actually um, frame mounted Okay, this is good. So we can add the different hitches. Trying to find. Okay. Trying to find how we can change the... I think we're missing something here. I don't see... Yeah, we don't have the body here. It's not an option and you lose it, which is a service body. You actually completely just lose that, which sucks. Um, if you change any of the tow and haul parts. So we could do frame mounted, but I mean, okay, so now we know this. So let's retain, let's go in here, let's sell it. Let's grab another one quick. This only take a second. Let's customize this up, tow and haul, uh, tow and haul. Heavy tone haul, and then tires. We want to go down all the way to the mud tires. We want to use a red line single. You're not uh, red line single. That's my bad. We want to use the red line rut runner 62 winch. All right, black ops bumper. Good suspension. Yep. All right, tow and haul. So this gets rid of the box as well, if we had the gooseneck frame mounted. But it should be able to fit in the box is what I was thinking, but I guess not. So we can use a shorty hitch, which is frame mounted. It goes underneath the back bumper, which can be kind of difficult. There's a service body bumper. There we go. Okay, that works. Exhaust and snorkels. So these ones remove. Okay. So dual muffler exhaust works. F fender mounted snorkel. We're going to take that and uh, we got to keep that muffler on. Damage control engine. So you can reduce the uh, damage everywhere. So this is actually no damage uh, for the suspension. I don't think we need to actually do any of that, but we've got goodies that we can add. So it's fuel tank, stuff like that. This one's really good. Goodies max, 3,000 repair parts, 20 spare wheels, and 3,000. And we get some recovery gear we can get here that'll work with the service body. Recovery roof rack, so this is cool, I like this. Service body headache LED lights, and we could actually put a flatbed on here. Now this is really nice, we could switch this to a flatbed, and all right, this makes sense. And you could add something like a spare tire or the toolkit in there. That is cool, I like that quite a bit actually. We can add some smokestacks if we want to the service body. All right, so we got Big Rig Classic HD Forged or the military or Militant Recovery Beadlock. I really like the HD Forged. And we got some cool colors. I really like the red. Um, it is red line creation, so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to pull this bad boy out and see what it can do. So first things first, I absolutely love the interior in this so far. It doesn't have a Ford logo or anything like that, but the gauges work. We do have um, the driver and passenger and the rear view cameras mounted in the radio. Now this was something that we did with the front trail cam in the 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro with Iceberg. And I think it was the first one then to have something like that in the radio. So it's cool to see others end up doing this. Uh, Red Line Creations has really come a long way since they started modding the interior's detail. Like look at the carpet, it's incredibly realistic. 
Um, even the stitching on the center armrest. Mirrors work. This is absolutely brilliant. Engine sound, startup noise is quite nice. We can operate the hood. Let's check out the hood. Under the hood, we got a really detailed engine. You can see the twin turbos there, triple turbos. Um, we can activate the radar if we want. There's one built in. We can open all of these um, drawers or whatever you want to call them. And we can open all of these ones. Kind of adds a little bit of a role play and unique experience here. And we can go ahead and close all those. We can also drop the tailgate, which is nice. And of course, we can change the suspension mode and add a little bit lift. So if you're not hauling, you could go with this kind of a lift. I don't know if you'd want to haul with this heavy of a lift. These engine sounds are incredibly nice. The steering is uh, quite responsive. It is a lot more responsive than I kind of imagined it would be, to be honest with you. transmission seems incredibly balanced you're able to tow and haul and it's doing absolutely incredible through this mud the uh, engine sounds um, sitting in the cockpit are really nice the steering is incredibly balanced it's not too responsive it's not too slow kind of just seems like perfectly in between we're gonna pop it in a high gear and see how we do here through this bit of the trail now this isn't a yeet gear this is an actual heavy duty high gear kind of made to push you through the worst of the worst it seems i'm going to be almost just as interested to see uh how this handles through the rocks um you know it does have some no damage on the suspension well it reduces it i didn't do the full no damage but in automatic because we did start to dig there a little bit it's pretty thick mud fuel consumption seems reasonable and somewhat realistic here compared to some of the mods that you see we do have a lot of uh, accessories and spare parts if needed. Yeah, this is just hauling incredible. And there's a Defender in the Penman trailer. All right, so let's back up. Love the lighting, love the sounds that we're hearing from the brakes. The overall fit and finish of this just seems absolutely incredible. This might be a good photo opportunity. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. So we're gonna haul back through and check out how it handles the rocks and uh, kind of go from there. I'm excited. This is gonna be the final mod review that we do on a vanilla map for quite a bit. Um, Cascades Winter just released not too long ago and I'm really excited to see how that turned out. Back in high gear, we're just cruising through this mud and we use red line which is an OP I mean you can see we're getting bogged down here but these are some heavy duty tires uh, heavy duty off-road killers I'm really excited to see how it handles with the rocks because so far all the suspension play and movement is really nice um, there's a lot of detail in this truck overall in every aspect texture mapping and detail is also top-notch really really impressed overall And so this automatic, you actually do better in high uh, than you do in automatic, but it's good to know ahead of time because you are gonna wanna use um, automatic in certain speeds here. This is what I would consider like a heavy duty off-road hauling suspension. Great for recovery, great for hauling trailer through some stuff that you probably don't wanna haul through in the first place, but it's not great on the highway. So if you're using the 10 speed tow and haul variant, I think it make out a lot better but it's providing a lot of versatility for off-road because in the mud you're not digging anywhere is really it's a lot smoother off-road than i kind of anticipated out of a tow and haul suspension uh and transmission so make our entrance in here with the uh, crawling see how we do a lot of these rocks I think are gonna be reasonable for us to crawl through 
we're not really struggling at any point at all. We're not digging in. And some of this mud is pretty soft and pretty deep. It doesn't take a whole lot to get you kind of digging in and spinning. Uh, I wanted to see how we do an automatic because high gear is a little bit fast for this kind of rocks. But I also didn't want to put it in a low plus either. But we're just kind of cruising up this hill. And it's, it's not really looking for the gears. It's not downshifting or upshifting, kind of causing any chaos. It's... It's incredibly balanced in terms of shift sequence. And we made it. That was nothing for this rig absolutely nothing I think what we're actually gonna do is leave this truck up here so we have it and maybe we'll look at completing two new horizons uh, for a separate video see how far we can get here without causing any issues we got a little bit of damage on the doors but nothing crazy I mean we did hit some bumps pretty hard but that's to be expected the braking's incredibly responsive not too responsive look at that detail on the drive shaft incredible Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this mod review. 10 out of 10 recommend. The mod link is going to be in the description if you want to jump in and hang out in the Discord or maybe link up for some co-op. Uh, the Discord invite is in the description as well, guys. Catch you with the next one. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and a sub on the channel.